Ha! Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be looking at the Team Morans, the official Twitter feed for the Kenya national basketball team. 2019 Zone 5 champions, African 2019 silver medalists, Morans to the world. Okay. Let's look at this tweet. How we are waiting for the Afro Basket 2021 draw. Hey, you guys, if you guys are not training, honestly, you're going to lose. Honestly, I don't actually upload my expectations and I'm not sure if you guys can get the job done because of the way you've looked. I've broken you guys down through the whole Afro Basket and I've not even seen you, you guys even drop even one training video or even a video of you guys like going through deals. So you guys are just waiting for the draw. Maybe what if you match up against these good teams like, like uh, Nigeria, like Tunisia? Do you have what it takes to beat them? Okay, you guys keep on waiting for them. Bro, early exit. Okay, let's see, let's see. Go to your source. It's a great breaking. Tyler Okari is back in Brazil with the Danish Championship after beating Game 6, okay. Ah, this is from the, this is from Ariel Okar Koranga's page. Okay, so this guy didn't, honestly, this guy didn't like ball out. The other guy is balling out in the Patriots, but not him. So I don't see what the big deal is. If this guy balls out, the funny thing is, if this guy balls out in the with the Patriots, it begs the question, why is it that he couldn't ball out for the t national team, the team Morans, but he balls out in the Patriots? I, I don't understand that. Honestly, I don't. Oh, and them guy got verified. Ah, oh, great, great, great. Oh, he got verified. Blue Badge Nation. Okay. 2021 Fever for Basket Draw. The ceremony for the draw will take place on Friday, 28th May. That's today. You guys, you guys better be, you better be ready for, you better be ready for who is gonna, who you're gonna match up against. Because if you don't, you're gonna have an early exit, honestly. So you guys better you you guys better step up and I and I don't and I'm actually holding this this coach accountable because if you if you don't deliver if you don't deliver and give this team success, it's you to blame. So so they won the Danish championship. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's a neat thing to that's neat. I like it. So that was Africa Day. Yeah, they're just pulling up them highlights. I'm not seeing any videos of you guys working out. So it begs the question, what are you doing? Are you guys even training? It's been like, what? Since February 20, 23rd? February, March, April, May, June. I mean, for the past four months, have you guys been training? Because it begs the question, if you were, why aren't you dropping any hints or even a short video of you guys doing something? So this was the only game that this guy just played well. Only. I've been looking at all the games at a close range and yeah, man. So Ben Uzo only played 64 games for the NBA. Didn't do anything much. He was a journeyman. Uh, this guy as well declared for the draft, went undrafted. Only had one good game. Only had one good game for the Patriots. Uh, not much to say there. This guy has, <laughs> this is funny, this guy has four Bugatti engines in him. Guy's a predator. This guy balls out in other teams, but he failed to, he failed to ball out for the team Moran. So I don't know, this is not a shot, but yo man, yo, you guys are just funny. So congrats to our ULM, MMB, like whatever, Taylor Ongoye for earning defensive player of the year. Oh, okay. Now, thank you DPOI. So that means you can got. So it was pretty interesting because so I saw a tweet somewhere. So if you want the Danish defensive player there, so that means you can guard Nikola Jokic, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Steph Curry, Kanil. I mean, bro, be realistic. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I'm a priest face. Whatever I'm about to say. This is not about taking shots, but. If you win such an award, that means you can guard someone like LeBron James. Easy. No, 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 no need to think about it, right? 
So yeah, scratching in Rwanda with J. Cole. It doesn't matter. J. Cole was cut anyway, so J. Cole he bailed out of the Afro basket because he bail no not Afro basket, he bailed out for the BL because he had family issues. He bailed out he, he didn't bail out, he was cut from the team, that's what happened. There's nothing spectacular about what J. Cole did. Seeing a woman coach men's a men's team been a novelty for a while but not anymore. Let me tell you one thing. Let me just preface anything. This lady got an got a coaching job in Africa because she couldn't get any coaching job. She couldn't even coach the national team in Australia. So that goes to show you that they know something that we don't know. But we are too we are guys who just want to take the benefit of the doubt and just take her. So it's not a shot at her, but I just I I just I just have a couple of questions maybe. I'm actually willing to invite you to my platform to discuss some things because yeah man I just want to know your point of view so yeah sneak peek inside this hurdle did nothing you guys choked to Senegal you had a prayer that Tailongwai sent I actually went and looked at the game and filmed pretty well I've looked at the game like a couple I've looked at the joint like a couple of times and in the final two minutes, you guys were up like eight, but you choked it all away. You blew eight points, but threw a game winner that won the game. So as much as we praise that Tyler Ongoy shot, you guys blew a whole game with Mozambique. So that is unforgivable in my books. And if you have such an outing like that, I don't think you're going to win. Okay, let's see. Ah, the background, that photo. I mean, it made it was made it made rounds. <laughs> this is how you're gonna be dancing out of the Afro basket, bro. These guys are gonna be dancing out of the Afro basket and they got get eliminated <laughs> in the early stages. <laughs> if you guys don't practice, I mean, I'm not saying that to take shots. I'm a Kenyan, so I'm not saying that to take shots. I'm just saying, if you guys don't like make the changes and make the adjustments to your matchups, you're gonna get eliminated very fast. So yeah, man. I mean, the president has that that jersey. I like it. It's pretty good, but. It doesn't mean anything if you can't even build a basketball court that people can play in and so or even support them financially like money grants so yeah that's it that's what i have to say there underestimated underestimators that would be fun i know we're not underestimating you is the the problem is you guys just keep on making the same same mistakes on the court i mean decision making taking care of the ball turnovers you keep making the same mistake that's why like a guy like me takes offense to that and i get in on you like most of the time so as much as you keep on saying that as much as you keep on saying underestimating you we're not underestimating you. i actually have high expectations for this team it's just that you guys just fumble at every point you guys have the size you have the you have the personnel to offset any team but the problem is you guys just don't know how to play efficient and intelligent basketball and that's why i get in on you a lot so i don't know what the front office does i don't know what this coach draws up i don't know what plays you draw up in practice i don't know what you play but uh it's not satisfactory and uh, only winning two games in a qualifier doesn't doesn't cut doesn't put you in elite level status Teams like Nigeria, Tunisia, Egypt are an elite level status because they went six and zero. You guys only went two and four, and you're just gassing yourself up as if you're gonna win it all. You can't. What if you meet a team like Nigeria, who have wounds because the USA men's team in 2012 beat them by like oh, I don't know what 70 points? What if you meet those guys who have those wounds? What if you meet a team like Egypt, who's not gonna? joke around on the court what if you meet senegal again what if you meet angola again because angola still has that that they have that that wound that you inflicted so do you have what it takes to beat them 
because the same players that are playing in the BL, they are the same players that are gonna play in the Alpha Basket. So if you guys don't don't take this thing seriously, you're gonna be done for. And um, yeah, man, I mean that's gonna that's gonna be it. It's gonna be it for you guys. So this uh, IG live didn't happen because I really wanted to ask this guy a couple of questions. It didn't happen, so that was it. Nice kicks. So Masin Mil Milimu is one of the powerful women working tirelessly to ensure that Morans are successful. Yeah, so the front office, you know, yeah, they they just have to take all credit uh, for winning only two games, and uh, yeah, so that's that's it. Yeah, and actually inviting, I'm actually inviting the co coach Liz Mills to my platform. I just have so many questions to ask you so many so many questions I mean, ah this is what i was saying congrats champ <laughs> congrats champ tyler durango carry wins the defensive player of the year in denmark so yeah so this means he can oh so this is a guy called bishkill i don't know who this guy is so this means he can guard king james Kawhi leonard paul george anthony davis russell westbrook get out of here with that because these guys don't like to hear the truth from some some basketball pundit like this. <laughs> they, they, they come in and say you're not normal. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. They just know how to be in TikTok and posting out their jerseys that they sell at 4,500. Nah, man, I can't, I can't. Let me just tell you, let me just tell you this team for the record. I will be looking at you guys at close range so i don't know if you watch my channel or you don't watch my channel i'll make a point to do that because i just point out the loopholes that you have in your game i just try to make you guys better than you were the last time you played so yeah i mean i mean that's what i do that's what i love doing and i love lo looking at the game at that at that close range so and retail rules in basketball if you fall down let your brother pick you up <laughs> you picked this one from lebron in 2019 uh this is not original this is a lebron james quote that you picked up so no no nothing original there uh you win the danish cup yo man we're so happy yeah cool uh, nice 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 okay let's hear what she had to say You see, she told you. Because they know something that we don't know. They know something about how we don't know. They know something about how what she did with those teams. Maybe one team that she did, we don't know. So that's the question. Like, why is it we are giving her the benefit of the doubt and the same result that we got last year in November, November and December, when we had that other coach, that Kenyan coach, we only, we had a one and two record. If she was as elite as people say, or Kenyans make her to be, why is it that the record was still the same? Because we lost to Senegal again, despite the fact that we lost again. Okay, we won Angola, but it's just a one point game. It was a prayer. But we still lost to Mozambique, and the other, and the other coach was able to make sure that we beat Mozambique. So I don't know what changes that she has made right now that can make me can convince me otherwise that she can deliver. So I don't know. I wouldn't have had the opportunity to work with senior men's club teams or national teams here in Australia. Um, and look, I love coaching in Africa, and that's where I want to coach. You want to coach in Africa because there are no opportunities for you in Australia. The Australian teams cannot trust you to coach theirs. If they can't trust you to coach their teams, what makes you think they're gonna? Tr we we have to trust you to coach our team, given the fact that the record that we got is the same one that we got last year. I mean, make it make sense to me. I mean, I'm not I'm not throwing shots, but I just I just want you to make it make sense to me how can you utilize our teams to get us to maybe the semis or the finals in the afro basket i just need someone like you to come to my platform i actually invite you we make a meeting ask you a few questions on how we're gonna change these things up because 
if we if I, if if you don't have that transparency how am i going to know that how am i be confident in knowing that you're gonna get the job done so it has a sideline and derailed my hopes and dreams anyway but if i was a young woman who wanted to who dreamed of coaching the boomers what is that even a possibility i'm telling you she can't get an opportunity there i mean they know australians know something that we don't know but we are happy to just throw the benefit of the doubt out there and just pick her up just because she has somewhat of a passion if she was that passionate and she was very elite and as good as she says she is in her resume it's pretty good i have nothing but love for her but if she is as good as she says she is she is why isn't it that why isn't it that she can't get a, a coaching job in australia in her home country she has to come to Africa. She came to Africa because she knew she can't level up to the competition of coaches that are there in Australia. And that's why she came to Easy Pickings in Kenya where a team like Kenya Morans, Team Morans came in and picked her up. So that's all I have to say. And she admits this. Actually, this is not me who's saying it. She admits this in this video. I'm telling you. She doubts that she could get a coaching job in her own country and Kenyans. We just gave her the benefit of the doubt to just come and coach us. And uh, let's see if she, if she, let's see if she has the ability to get the job done for us. So, yeah, I mean, final five minutes to make history. <laughs> okay, let's let's hear. Okay. I mean, this is the only highlight that in the whole Afro basket. This this win against Angola is very funny to me because it's a prayer shot that went in at the nick of time at the buzzer but we keep on overlooking the fact that the kenya morans choked a game with mozambique that's pretty serious i don't understand if they understand the magnitude of what they did <laughs> ah it was just so funny I just can't, I couldn't stop, I couldn't, I couldn't stop laughing. If I was a young woman who dreamed coaching, of, of coaching the boomers, I would doubt it of possibility. Yes, it's true. You wouldn't get a coaching job there because you don't measure up to the elite level of status that the coaches in Australia have. And uh, because Africa, Kenya, gave you the benefit of the doubt and coach here, that's why you got the opportunity to coach a men's team. So, yeah, I mean... It is what it is, and that's the reality. Okay, so let's check it out. Congrats to Felmas Koranga. This is pretty good. I like this. Great, great. The official glass cleaner. Ha ha ha. This was just so funny. Funny. <laughs> Taylor Okari bags the LG Sports personality of the month is the month of February. Congrats, champ! Keep shining. Yeah, great, great. Yeah, it's only because of the buzzer beater. If you didn't hit the buzzer beater, you wouldn't get that. Low key, I'm not. I'm not throwing shade, but it's the reality. It's the reality. These guys have not shown any training workout that they have done. That's one drop at least you have to drop the footage for real because if i see anyone just on the court just doing them trick just 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 like doing them drills setting up screens doing something i mean you guys are gonna have the same result that you had the other time that you played i mean what exactly can you guys do differently in another in a in a in this afro basket that you didn't do in the qualifiers tell make it make sense to kenyans and tell them what 
what things are you doing differently so that you can be able to rally behind you because if you guys don't is we're gonna have the same result that we got last time so i mean i'm trying i'm i'm trying so hard to like gain gain something to say gain something good to say and be able to motivate us and tell us to come out so that you can make us come out with the win but you guys are just making it harder and harder daily for me to be able to rally around you because there's you do one thing and you do the opposite i'm not seeing any training footage for you guys or you guys are dropping any nothing there's nothing in your page i mean you guys are just all international you, you left i mean i am just seeing um quarter with the patriots i'm seeing okal koranga with the ugandan team i'm seeing at least they are balling but what about the others because if you guys don't ball i mean there's nothing what about the other guys who are in kenya who are who are playing i mean ah uh, it's so funny it's such a these guys are just funny <laughs> video security that will <laughs> oh man well i mean this is this is just this is just the inference this is just you just have to mirror what you 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 have to show us what you guys are doing so that you can rally behind you i mean that, that's all for me man that's what i have to say about this and um yeah man i'm out